Brock Day Howard, Brock Day Howard Shy, Brock Day Howard, Brock Day Howard Shy, Brock Day Howard, Brock Day Howard Shy, Kyle Palaya Howard, Bachelor Howard Shy, Bachelor Howard Cock a Dodge, Double Honor Good Elder Apostle Howard, 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 Double Honor Good Elder Apostle and shout out to the sister and family that are tuned into the doctrine that preach around the whole world. Peace and mercy unto you. And who the world inwardly calls God, his name is Yahweh. And who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. And who the Hebrew is like that consists of you so called Negro, Latino, and Native American. And those who line descendants go back to one of the twelve tribes of Israel due to the scattering around all around the world among the nation. Alright, the topic will be on um uh, understanding on um, 2 Corinthians 12 and 9 through 10. All right. So, so what, what, uh, um, basically, a better understanding or a breakdown, or basically the, for the edify, which means the build. All right. The build on it. So, that's 2 Corinthians 2, and, and Lord willing, this is edifying. And uh, to the fear and power, how about how shy about you? How I can dodge that to get the understanding in the second Corinthians 12 and 9 through 10. It's like, and he said unto me, My great is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. And that's in red, which is how shy is speaking. All right, my great is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. All right, the basic thing. When we're weak, for our strength to be, uh, for your house size strength to be perfect in us, is, is we need to be weak. All right, because he's going to uh, 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 help us be strong. All right, you don't need to. Uh, uh, straighten somebody that's already strong. So he straightened those that are weak. Alright? And that's us. So he is made perfect. Okay. So again, my great deficient for these for my strength is made perfect in weakness. So our, his strength that he give us while we weak is made perfect. Alright? Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmity, all right, that the power of the house shy may rest upon me. And that's why we, we glory in our infirmity. When we catch hell, we uh, go through evil time, which is a uh, bad time, affliction, tribulation, we uh, glory in that. We give all praise to how about you shy for uh, uh, putting that on us or having us go through those things so we can... Uh, be made perfect, so we can be straightened, all right, so we can get that impurity off of us, all right, verse 10, therefore, I take pleasure in infirmity, all right, I take pleasure in that thing, let me look at the word pleasure, let's see what that means, Strong's G twenty one oh six Udakeo 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 and that is it seemed good to one it's one good pleasure think it's good determined to find to be ready to to prefer choose rather to be well pleased with take pleasure in to be favorably inclined toward one okay so that's what that means. Right back to verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmity, in reproaches, in necessity, in persecution, in distresses for your house shy state. So we, we take, just like uh, what he was saying, Paul was saying, we take pleasure in those things. All right? We take pleasure in, in our necessities, in our reproaches. And because and, and, uh, when you reproach, 
that's the uh, basically the correct the building. All right, and persecution and distress is for the whole side state. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So even though we weak, but we're strong through the whole side, just like I said in the ninth verse, we are strong. And I got some preach up. So the second Corinthians eleven and thirty. If I must need glory, I will glory of this thing which concern my infirmity. So we glory anything, glory in your infirmity, the hell that you catch them. All right, that's what we glory in. All right, Twali Hava for uh for having that infirmity on us. All right, because this is how it is, man. You rather catch the hill now, all right, through your infirmity, through your affliction, through your distresses, as opposed to uh, 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 when anybody else get it, man. You already have went through it. You're, it that's why you go to the fire now as opposed to later, the astral fire, when America be destroyed, okay? Let's just get this real quick. This is uh rock two and one. My son is out coming to fear the Lord. Prepare thy soul for temptation. Alright? You gotta prepare your spirit to be tempted. I right? did a video yesterday that he make it a way we're tempted, but we're not uh subject to temptation. Make it a way for them to escape. Or to set thy heart aright with your mind and constantly endure. Constantly endure, not somewhat endure. Constantly endure and make not hate in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. But whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And so we got to take it cheerfully, all right? Whatever is brought upon us, all right? And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. And sometimes you're going to go through something, you're gonna, it, it meant to bring you uh, down, all right? It's all about being uh, 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 in meekness and being humble, being lowly. Verse 5, that's the point. For go to try in the fire an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. So this is the fire that we got to go through. All right. The hell that you're going through, the adversity, that's the furnace. All right. And that's to, uh, 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 to build you up, to make you stronger. Okay, so that was the point. Back to right now, Matthew 5 and 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. And then I remember the, when they do these things to us, that's for the how about you now try to think. All right, so his name can be magnified and he get the glory. Verse 12, rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted days, the prophet was before you. So just like in time past, the prophet was, the prophet was being persecuted. No different than us. All right, because we're the same prophet, Lord willing, coming back in our lot. All right, the fear of the, uh, the, fear of the prophet is subject to the prophet. All right. So we're coming back. Okay. I had a train of thought just lost. First Peter four and thirteen. 
but rejoice in a month that ye are partaker. Oh, I'm going to say is, I remember now that the servant is not greater than the master. So y'all got to remember that. But Yahweh Shai went through, and he, he went through a lot, and ultimately um, died on the cross. So the servant, we're not going to be greater than Yahweh Shai, man. Would mean we're not gonna uh, 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 get into the kingdom of heaven without not without no suffering, without no tribulation, without no infirmity, without no affliction. We're gonna catch it too. Anybody according to their lot that they're able to bear, as the church would say. It said in verse fourteen, First Peter four and fourteen, if ye be reproached for the name of the house shine, happy are ye. For the fear of hmm, is, for the fear of glory and of the how it rested upon you on their part he is even spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. So they can be they're even spoken of. Alright. But on our part, who get glorified? How about Sound Shiba? Second Corinthians four in 8 through 10, we are troubled on every thigh, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Right, because how about y'all trying to remember us, man? Because we're still here. Whatever you went through, you're still here. You're still uh, 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 holding it down. You're still doing what you got to do. You're still here. Okay? Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the, the, the dying of the Lord Yahweh Shai, that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our body. Right, because we read back up in uh, 2 Corinthians in 12, right? Basically, in the ninth verse, read again. It said, in 12 and 9, it said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my affirmity that the power of your house may rest upon me. See? Now he goes back, and that's how he glorifies. Glorifies the life is. Back to Second Corinthians four and ten, that's why I say how that the life of the house might be might be made manifest in our bodies. Jump down to seventeen for our light affliction. Remember, this is our light affliction that we're going through, which is but for a moment. So this little bit of affliction you're going through, basically, that's what it's saying. It's only for a moment. Working for us a Working for us a far more exceeding joy. Block it. First, Second Corinthians four seventeen. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So the light affliction that we're gonna go through that for a moment. But we're going to see in the kingdom of heaven, it can be far more above the expectation that, or exceeded what we uh, are going to get, all right, in the kingdom, which is eternal or everlasting. Romans 5 and 3, so I had a scripture so to let go of what we were just talking about. It's there for life, uh, our light is pushing up for a moment, right? At 14 and 22, confirming the soul of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, all right, and that we must through much, that we must, that's the key word, through much tribulation, that in order to get into the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Yahweh, they can establish here on the earth with the elect of Israel, the 144,000 men within the one third with the governing body, the 144,000 men. In order to get into the kingdom of heaven, 
is that we have the keys in our faith and how much shall try and then with much and that we must through much tribulation instead though with much through much tribulation so you have to go through tribulation and it's a must it's, a, it's like a, a prerequisite it's a requirement okay no two first Corinthians four and ten we are food for your house shy sake, but ye are wise in your house shy. We are weak, but ye are strong, are honorable, but we are defied. Okay? That Corinthians thirteen and four for though we have like it, for though we was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of Yahweh. So Yahweh Shai was crucified when he was weak. Remember, they beat the shit out of him. They tore his flesh off with uh, uh, with those instrument. All right? I mean, basically, he was unrecognizable, bleeding from head to toe. And he still went on the cross and died. And his weakness, okay? Yet he lived by the power of Yahweh. All right? <clears throat> that stuff he had to go through. He had to go through that tribulation in order to receive the power that he received. In order to be on the right hand of his, of his father, Yahweh. Like I said, a servant is not greater than the master. It said, um, For we also are weak in him, but we shall live by him. By the power of Yahweh toward you. So we're weak. Just like Yahweh's child was weak. When he died on the cross. Right? Then we could be made strong. By the power of Yahweh. And ultimately by the power of Yahweh. By the child. Because now we come to the Father. So we have done Yahweh's child. Okay? Verse 9. We jump down. For we are glad. When we are weak and ye are strong, and this also we wish even your perfection. Alright? Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So that's how we're strong. Even though we're weak, we're made strong in your house side. Alright? With the power in him was invented by his the Holy Father, Yahweh, which now we are made strong through Yahweh by Shai, even though we're weak, we're in these fleshly bodies, <coughs> we're strong, all right, and that's pretty much it, uh, it wasn't too long, pretty much around the mark, I wanted to be almost 20 minutes, so hopefully this is edifying, and get an understanding on how we are weak, but how we're made strong. And also, the glory in the in the hell that we go through, in our infirmity, our tribulation, and our distress, everything that we that you consider of, of catching hell, we glorify in that man. We, we give all glory to have us outside for those things. Why? Because through much, through uh, we must through much tribulation enter the kingdom of Yahweh. And there it is. So with that, so on.